Well, I got I got a bunch of old chisels from uh, uh, an estate sale, and uh, so I got a little tired of um, using this leather strop here. I was trying to polish them up on the leather strop, and I figured that's a lot of work just doing that constantly. Um, maybe I should make my own wheel and put a piece of leather on the outside of the wheel and basically mount it to the outside of this this grinding wheel. So I have this grinding wheel and it turns slowly. I figured maybe I'll put this a big wheel with leather on it so I don't have to do so much manual labor. So I'm going to try to make a wheel that I can put on this and uh, put a leather strap on the outside of it instead of um, doing such tedious handwork. So anyway, I cut out I cut out some uh, circles, actually using a jig on the table saw, and glued them up. So I'm going to clean up the glue here and try to smooth out the wheel in order to make it nice and flat and perfectly round. spots in it but I think we should be able to clean up this glue pretty easily. I should have cleaned up the glue while I was wet but all those clamps were in the way so it's hard to get in there. Okay. Uh oh. Ain't gonna work either. Okay I'm gonna drill it with a hand drill. This Forstner bit because it won't fit. The depth of this is not big enough on my little drill press. Someday I'll get a big boy drill press, but right now I don't have one. Definitely works a lot easier in a drill press. Hopefully I can just flip it over and meet in the center here. Now it looks like I'm going to get a punch because the center is filled with glue and I need to basically I want to try to get right on the center so it's filled with glue. I'm going to take this punch because I don't want the bit to wander. Let's see if I can. There we go. That should work. Now, hopefully, that center of the Forstner bit will sit right in there. Basically, I'm gonna just spin it for a while here, kind of smooth out the, take off the, take off the, okay, so I mounted the wheel on the shaft and I actually uh, put another block in here so that the key, when I put the key in here, I made a little wooden key to go in the slot and I didn't want to screw up the the wheel here too much so I added another block and jammed the key in against it. Maybe I didn't need that in hindsight but eh, it's good. It, it should be good. So now I'm going to try to get the leather on here 
and maybe glue the leather on the on the outside and get that all smooth. Put about a bunch of glue on the wheel itself, and then I'm gonna glue on the leather. So let's give this a shot here. Smooth this out. Put the stop this way. And temporarily, just to hold it in place. Put a staple in it, which I'll take out later. Just to give it. Here and then when I'm done, I'll cut it right on the line. And hopefully, it will have uh, Okay, I shaved it down. There should be a minimal hump here. So hopefully uh, when it's spinning, it's not gonna bounce too much when we hit the seam there. <laughs> 